Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Women's CEV Eurovolley competition for 2023. Today in Pool D, the Netherlands is taking on Spain, who you can see walking into the stadium right now in anticipation. My name's Key Michael. I am so excited to be your host for today's matchup. The teams arrived probably just about an hour ago to this Saku Sur Hall the, in the capital of Estonia, Tallinn. It actually hosted Eurovision in 2002, but we are focused solely on Eurovolley instead. These two teams probably flew in a couple days ago. They've maybe had one training to get ready for competition in this new venue, and then is directly to work for an important few games coming up. Both these teams are going to be hoping to make it out of play. It's the very strong team, uh, the Netherlands. What is your team's plan? Our plan is to go out there and play our game, try to at least. Um, be, uh, be Lions, that's the name of our, our team. We are Leonas, so we're just planning to go out there and do our best, try to play fast and uh, give our all in the court. So that's our plan. You as captain, what is the goal of your team in this uh, tournament? Uh, of course, we will play game by game and today we want to win the first game. We are really excited to play and to start finally the tournament, so we can't wait. Last Europeans, you were uh, the fourth. Yeah. What has changed since then and uh, are you going for the medal? Uh, of course, we have now a pretty new group with a lot of young girls, very talented group. And uh, also the staff changed a lot. So we play a lot of different uh, type of volleyball. And uh, the goal will be uh, like minimum the same. Of course, we will want to uh, achieve for the medals. Well, a chance to hear from the players themselves there. Rakan Lazaro saying their team is going to fight to the death. Love to see it in this Coliseum style arena. Lara Dykema, as she mentioned, well, her team is coming in as one of the favorites in the pool. So they're going to have a lot of pressure on their shoulders. Heading into the hopes of making it into the finals this year's Eurovolley will be held. Well, they'll be held in Belgium on September 1st and 3rd, live on Eurovolley.tv. The Netherlands and Spain, well, they're part of Pool D. It also includes the hosts Estonia, Finland, Slovakia, and France, who recently qualified for next year's VNL, winning the Challenger Cup this summer. As we have a look in at the coin toss, which happened earlier, players deciding on who wants to serve, who wants to receive. Netherlands choosing first and Spain choosing the side. Well, in the head-to-head -head between these two teams, Netherlands and Spain, today it's Netherlands who has come out on top. Three matches to zero. All three of those matches were dur during the European Championship in 2009, 2011, and the most recent matchup 10 years ago in 2013. All three matches were a 3-0 blowout in the favor of the Netherlands, but anything's possible today. Here's what's happening so far in the pool. France is on top, Slovakia just at behind, but these two teams have yet to play each other in this competition. For the Netherlands, it's been a fairly full summer already competing in the VNL. They finished 12th in that tournament, but they traveled all around the world to Japan, to China, to Thailand. The Netherlands actually lost their last match to Canada, but they won five of their total matches overall in that VNL. Netherlands has a really strong history of volleyball prowess. In fact, they just missed out on a medal at the 2016 Olympics, and some of those players are still in the squad today. Spain has not officially had any matches this summer, but last summer had a great showing. They won five of their six matches in that European Championship qualifier. The Netherlands also won the European Championship in 1995 when they hosted that tournament. They've been runners-up at the European Champs on four occasions. 1991, 2009, 2015, and 2017. As mentioned, finished fourth last year at the Eurovolley 2021. With already 98 wins, they just actually need only two more victories to claim their 100th win at the European Championships. So they could grab that one today here against Spain. But Spain have a couple of players you're going to want to look out for on their side. One of them, 
the number nine, the captain and by far the most experienced player on court, if not entire competition, the setter Patricia Aranda at 44 years old. She's been playing pro since 1995, mostly in Spain, but also throughout Peru and France. You also got a sneak peek of the number 16, Maria Priscilla Schlegel. For the Netherlands, Nika Dalderop, well, 24-year-old outside hitter, played last season for Vakif Bank in Turkey, helping her team win the Champions League gold medal. She's a super fast attacker, likes a bit of speed to the pin, and also will pop up out of nowhere on the pipe. Celeste Flack, number four, one of the team veterans, 27 years old, the 190 centimeter opposite. She was part of that 2016 Olympic squad that just missed out on the medal in Rio, finishing fourth that year. Nevertheless, she too has a Champions League gold medal from 2017. Well, there is the squad for Spain. As mentioned, keep an eye out for that number 16, one of the go-to attackers for the squad. Loves to swing seam, it packs a punch. Was the best outside hitter of the Czech League in 2021. Also experienced in the German League. For the Netherlands, well, there's that lineup you're looking at, and we're gonna see all the teams, all the players coming out on court. First of all, it is Spain looking to do something here against the Netherlands and anything is possible. As mentioned, they had a great showing just last year over the summer. They're making their eighth appearance at the European Championships. Their best result was a ninth place finish in 2009. They won only one of their five matches at Eurovoli 2021. That was a five set win against Greece. Well, I feel like the announcer in the stadium did a much better job than I could even ever do announcing the Netherlands. There you go. There are the accolades and there are the players coming out on court, getting ready for their first matchup here in the 2023 Euro Volley against Spain. They've got a lot riding on their shoulders. They are whatever the opposite of the underdog is. They're the overdogs here in this competition. So they're going to have a lot to work on and a lot to look forward to in this match. This is the match of Pool D, Spain versus the Netherlands, and we will step aside for just a second to respect the national anthems. Well, there you go. Anthems taken care of. 
And now the handshakes between the coaches, which will all know each other well, having played throughout the European League many, many years. The Netherlands at the helm. Felix Kozlowski, the German, who's been the head coach only since this year, formerly with Germany. Now he's also head coach over in Schwerin. James head coach, Pascual Saurin, who's been there since 2016. Well, we'll meet the referees first and foremost. The top, or the head, the first referee, let's say, Konstantin Yovchev of Bulgaria. And the second referee, Eldar Zulfogarov of Azerbaijan. And ladies and gentlemen, these are our referees for that game. The first referee is Konstantin Yovchev from Bulgaria. It might have been a little early on that. The <laughs> announcement's happening now for the referees. their moment in the spotlight, but that spotlight ends right now. And hopefully, we won't see too much of them. The less you see of the rest, the, the smoother the match is going, let's say. On we go to meet the players. We are starting out with Spain. Starting with number five, Paula Martinez. The opposite. Garcia, the 31-year-old middle blocker, won the Spanish Super Cup in 2021. Number 12, Lucia Varela, the 20-year-old middle blocker, headed to play in Ampere, France next season. Lucia Prol, 23 years old, has only really played in Spain, was the best outside hitter of the Superliga in 2021. Maria Priscilla, Priscilla Schlegel, who we talked about earlier, the outside hitter, Raquel Lazaro, will be setting the 23-year-old and in the libera jersey, Patricia Labres, as you can see, plays in Tenerife there, the 27-year-old. That is your lineup. And head coach Pascual Sarin, you mentioned, has been at the helm since 2016, previously coached the under-18 and under-19, so a lot of these players grew up with him. For the Netherlands, Celeste Platt coming out first, the opposite, number four, 27 years old. Julian Nolema, the 20-year-old outside hitter. Juliet Lohaus in the middle blocking spot, 26 years old, plays for Alma Maggiore in Italy. Britt von Herz of Stuttgart, the setter, 26 years old. Luca Zaldorop has mentioned, one of the Champions League winners of last year with Vakit Bank, outside hitter, 24 years old. Eileen Timmerman will be in the middle blocking spot. 24 year old there and rounding it out Florian Riesink in the libero jersey Our coach fresh to the helm since this season is Felix Kozlowski formerly with Germany also coaches in Schwerin since 2013 assistant coach at one point in Bergamo and Fieri in Italy so he's been around the block fair amount of experience coaching highest level well I'm excited to get this one underway and I'm sure the players are too when it's your first one of the tournament it has been a relatively long summer for the Netherlands as mentioned they were all over the place with the VNL traveling all over they were in Japan China and Thailand so they're going to be here for at least a week, a couple of weeks, if they can make it to the finals, and they're gonna be happy to stay put, I believe, rather than doing all that traveling. Spain preparing for their per first official match of the summer. Here we go. Whistle is blown. The Netherlands in the orange on the left of your screen, serving Spain in the yellow to get us underway for this Pool D matchup of the Euro Volley 2023. And the first one is a good rally. Into the block goes Spain. Swing coming out of the pipe from Daldorop, doesn't fall. That block will though, a huge one. 
The opener is Celeste Black. And Zimmerman finding a really solid space there. Parole doing her best to try and get past that big block, but the first point on the board for the Netherlands, and Bon Hats will continue at the line. Another attempt on the outside, much better. Lucia Prol does a fantastic job there. Same swing, same set, just this time with a little bit more heat on it to get through that block. See Timmerman just a tiny bit late there as she reaches towards Black, leaves that open space across court. Garcia with the first. First game, no luck there though. Perhaps a few nerves still as this match gets, well, just starts to heat up. Early stages still. A strong serve from Nolama. Bigger block though on the left side. Felix likes it. Big fist pump from the fella. That's a great read from Timmerman. Have a look at how early she's moving her feet, getting out there. Once again, offhand. Same ball behind to Flack, who's going to be one of the go-tos. We know this about her. She's going to be a heavy hitter for the Netherlands all match long. Gets a one-on-one -on -one there. That's credit to Bonhads for putting that up one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, sir. Ball comes over. Off hands. Chance again through the pipe. Oh, Nolema getting involved there in the offense on the pipe. And I like that already from Bonherz. We've seen a little bit of everything. Next up, you know she's going to be using her middle pretty soon. Going to try and establish that. Make sure Spain is on their toes for every possible opportunity as they try and establish their middle. But the reading really good right now from the Dutch side, especially from Timmerman. She's watching, she's reading and sensing that that ball is going to be pushed wide. That sort of seven shoot set just takes a little step in and Flock and her can close it up. Nolema again down the middle. Strong serve gets out of system on Spain's side. Free ball handled by Riesink. Situation coming off the net again. Great work at the net. Valderop teaming up with Timmerman that time to make sure things got done. It's 7-1 lead already, so a timeout called by Spain. Arriba, en defensa, ¿eh? estamos trabajando, tenemos que seguir trabajando con esa idea, de defender. En estos balones de dos, la, de, la que va alta, tiene que salir más de la diagonal, tiene que salir más de la diagonal. Para cubrir bien, porque si no estamos dos tiempos con la diagonal. Y esas tienen los ángulos bastante cerrados para allá, la número cuatro. Vale, con la pelota altita. Vale. Oh my gosh, my Spanish is rusty. But I think <laughs> what the coach is asking there, he's talking about number four, Celeste Flack. She loves to swing that diagonal. Now the danger of saying that she's only going to swing diagonal and only to try and really dive into that cross is if she sees that line open, she is a strong enough player to go ahead and take it. But you've got to take that gamble and choose one or the other direction. Let your defense work behind. Big swing, bigger block. That is three big blocks already for the Dutch side. They have been relentless in slowing down this offense, and it has to do a lot with the reading. I mean, they're getting in good positions, first starting with a tough serve to get Spain really off the net, and then they're finding good ways to close. Spain getting themselves their second point, so taking them a while to get to this one. 
but eventually it's again Prol who's finding a way past the block, but I still like that Netherlands are set up, they're early, they're strong in their block. Vela. Ooh, dialed it up, making a statement on the outside. Here comes the boom indeed. She was the best scorer of the Dutch League in 2016. Moved her way up through the ranks, then over to Germany, Aachen, Stuttgart, Firenze, Novara, and off to Wackerf Bank. One of the best players potentially in professional volleyball at the moment. Great swing off of the hands. Lucia Prol. Well, she looks like she's going to be one of the go-to attackers for this Spanish side. She's the only one to have scored any points yet in that outside spot. I think the Netherlands will be kicking themselves on that one. It came off the block with a little funny angle, but nobody underneath it. Pearl now to the backcourt. Here comes Black. He goes deep cross, gets Spain again in a tricky spot. They're going against the three-man block. Good slowdown. Von Hertz to the pipe. And just wide, but you gotta like that attempt on the Netherlands side. First thing they're doing, they're going with a three-person block to the outside. That makes it really easy for Black to get that overhand dig. So able to run some kind of offense. It doesn't, it's not fully executed there, but the idea is correct. Great ball in for the Netherlands. Quick swing, but a block in place. And Spain, Maria Priscilla Schlegel getting a big chunk of that block. It's one-on-one, -on -one, so again, that's Bonhert's given a good setup to her middle. But a great dive in by Schlegel. High ball outside. Angles for days. Now, Nika Daldorop does not miss when she has that opportunity. She's getting really good shots on those balls. And have a look at her wrist when she contacts it. So she's seeing the blockers and then finishing basically outside with her wrist, outside with her shoulder. That's how she's getting those crazy angles past the block. Flat deep serve from Daldorop. Great ball in for Spain. Chance to run the middle. Yes, sir. And that's going to be the key, I think, for Spain, is getting those balls up to the setter. So she's able to use all of her offense right now. It was a lot of high balls to the pin. And finally, number eight, Carlota Garcia is able to get a swing away. Raquel Lazaro. Back to serve the setter. Here comes Plack from the pipe, and she's too strong with it. One of the Olympians from 2016. It's a lot of heat on the arm, as well as some speed from the wrist as well. And that's the key to this swing here, is she's kind of falling a little bit. It's not the perfect set for her, but what she does well is she's smart and finds an angle around that one block in front of her. Great ball in again for Spain, this time to the outside, though recycled. Chance again behind. Schlegel has a go, no good. And there's the angle again. Well, that time. Nolimo with that sharp angle, but it looks like Netherlands have really figured out the weak zone in the defense for Spain right now. It's that sharp cross angle. The defenders are there. They're sitting in it sometimes, but a lot of balls have just kind of tagged the line or caught the defender off guard. So I have a feeling Netherlands will keep working that spot until Spain changes something. 13-6 for now. First change in, number two, Mavro Matis for Spain. Ball through the middle is Doug. Netherlands to the outside, great tip and a change of speed. That's exactly when they use that tip as well. They've been pounding that aggressive, sharp cross court. So the defenders have a look at number two. She's on her heels thinking, I'm here, I'm ready for this sharp, aggressive attack. That's the moment to get that short tip in, perfectly executed.
Spain trying to creep back in here. 7 to 14. Falls off the net for the Netherlands. Outside, down the line. What a change up. Well, we've been talking a lot about that cross court angle. But here's what I love about those last three swings from Knolema. We saw one hard driven cross, then we saw a tip, and look at the change. The Spain has kind of adjusted their block to come inside a little bit. She sees it, goes down the line. Great ball in from Spain again. Moving to the outside, good dig from Libera Resync. There's another tip, oh, good read. So Spain finally kind of catching on to the tactics on the outside there from Nolema. See Garcia moving slowly, waiting a little bit. She has to jump, come down, jump again. But she knows now that Nolema is going to be trying to do some tricky things on the outside. He heads back to serve. Quick through the middle. That's Doug. Ball behind. Netherlands again in a good position to attack. Black down the line. That's Doug as well. Opportunity for Spain, not yet. Great defensive effort. And finally, or not finally, the rally continues. Black goes into hands, and there you go. Eventually, a hard fought rally ends in a point for the Netherlands. And a fifth fist punt from Felix. Off the hands. And I like that Farella's in a good position there, but what you're looking at there, she's off the net. There's so much space. Her arms are just going straight up and down rather than closing off the angles. Quick ball to the outside. Timmerman not expecting that, perhaps just one step too late. That's tough, though, because that's, that's a shortened attack distance from the setter to the attacker. Super ball in. Love that. Bonhead knows. Timmerman's feeling a little awkward about that last block. Get her back in the game. That's something I love watching is how setters really feel their players. And right now she knew, right, I need to establish the middle and especially need to make sure Timmerman's feeling good before she heads back to serve. Good serve, but again, Spain handling it well. There's the tip. Good read from Lohaus. And then Rivera. Yeah, but it picks it up. Comes back over. Tight for Plack. She's on it, but a good read again. There's the pipe from Spain. One here, it's back to Plack again. Cross court dug. And the whistle's been blown. Must be a net touch or something of that variety. So a timeout's going to be called by Spain. Let's have a listen in. Have a look at this stadium and the lights. How cool is that? Are they moving? Or is that the camera? Am I? Uh, that is awesome. I think those kind of things were probably set up when this place was used for Eurovision and the concerts that they have here all the time. They've had Sting, Ed Sheeran, they've had Bob Dylan, Metallica. This is this is a concert venue and a sports hall at the same time. So cool that players get to play places like this. Oh, great tip. Aggressive from Lazaro. That's the right moment to do it. I don't think Netherlands were prepared for that at all. Lazaro was actually the best setter of the NCAA ACC in 2023. She played over there for Louisville, who actually finished second in the NCAA tournament just last year. Here comes the pipe. There's the tip. Good pickup. Setter still in play through to the middle. And that'll work nicely to her tall 197 centimeter middle. Doesn't have to do much. But just a little jump. And tickle that over the block from Varela. She played last season in Novara in Italy. 
Back to Pro to the service line, 11 to 18. Goes aggressive with the top spin, doesn't matter. Netherlands all over it. And pretty much the perfect reception into the hands of Von Herz. Black had a big swing at it. She doesn't look 100% confident on the fact that Spain might have touched it, but the rest of the team do. Felix does, so they're calling a challenge. Let's see if it goes back the way of the Netherlands. Either way, what I love about this, you see coaches heading over to talk to their players. That's the moment to do it. Felix Kozlowski knows that whether or not this goes our way, I'm going to use this as a timeout, talk to my team, give them some tactics, give them some words of wisdom, let's say. Oh, huge touch. Great call. I did think I saw Schlegel with a cheeky little smile on her face as they called challenge. Schlegel is actually headed over to play in Athletes Unlimited in the USA, a team I played for a couple of years ago. It's a fantastic league with brand new rules. Every team changes week by week. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that or learn about that, go and head over and have a look at it. It's really, really interesting, the first professional league in the USA. Ball behind, and a stuff block to go with it. Dialed it up. All over that. Great choice to go behind from the center of Spain. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, but Taldrop looking way too comfortable there. Lara Dijkema. Captain in the serving spot again. That's a good change up, Barala. Reading the situation. I like that the setter has faith to go back to that position second in a row. And it's a height versus experience 197 centimeters again is Varela Daldorop only 189 <laughs> another change up Marit Jasper, the 27-year-old outside hitter, playing in Nantes, France, comes in to serve. Gets Spain off their rhythm with the libero having to set, and it pays off. Gabres putting up a really hittable ball there for Schlegel on the outside. And she knows she's got three attackers, or three blockers, I should say, up, because it's a high ball. It's slow. Spain's using patience like the coach asked for in the timeout but clever to find her way through those big hands. Here comes a high ball from the Netherlands on the left side. Outside blocked again, recycled. Well picked up, Yabres to set. Ball behind and it's high off hands. Going again, though, great defensive effort from the Netherlands. Again, Yabres picking things up. Off the hand, Schlegel goes, and a great cover. Schlegel with the lefty this time, and eventually gets her way to the floor. I'm loving the defensive effort on both these teams, particularly the libero La Yabres of Spain. She's only play ever played in Spain professionally, but she's doing a great job to keep things in play, get her team another chance to recycle the ball go again and that's really what you need on your team ball outside kept alive Schlegel again and the tip is there two players trying to read it Dykema watching as it falls that might have been just a miscommunication between the two Dykema saw that early enough, as did the libero. But if you're not 100% sure about the system, that's the moment when there's that tiny bit of just hesitation that can lead to balls falling. 
No, watch out that we are not starting too short for the reception. She really pushed aggressive long. And watch out for this conflict. We can close the conflict a little bit. Marit can already come inside for this 6-1 uh, conflict, okay? We are off a little bit one there. Hey, front row, watch out for net drop. Okay, so everybody is involved. Everybody help on that ball, okay? Hey, Ben, Ben, listen. Everybody in defense is super long. Here is a big gap, so we can use this gap in the middle, okay? Well, the value of having a German coach for a Dutch team, we get to hear everything in English. So you heard everything I did. A lot of information there given at one time, and I like that from a coach. Is he's not talking about what's going wrong. He's not talking about the past. He's saying, hey, focus on these parts. I want to see you tip here in that hole. All their defense on Spain's side is long. That's an opportunity to get a quick point. Lefty from Dambrink, who's in with that double sub. Good pick up on the outside again. Tickled into the block. There's that tip, but Labres all over it. Here comes Schlegel, and she's finding the tip. And two times in a row, Netherlands has been caught off guard by a tip, and it looks like a few different people are in position to play it. And I think because it's a longer tip, that's what's causing confusion, is there's two blockers up, two players in for the tip, and just because it goes over their head, they're not playing it. But that has to be those two players, that the defensive players are deep. Well left by Spain, creeping back into this match. Netherlands thought they had it in the bag, but it is, things are changing. The one-on-one, Cambrink -on -one. having a lot of space to work with there. Dijkema to the outside, off hands, and that's a good finish from Nolema. Nolema was the best outside hitter at the World Champs under 20 in 2021. Still only 20 years old, so that's a clever swing for the, such a youngster. No house. Finds a deep serve. Ball's coming back from Schlegel. Deep throw. That's kept in. Lambrink finds the tip. It's picked up. Spain comes back even harder. And I like that tricky little shot there from behind. You like to think that the pipe is kind of one position on the court. But when you find teams that can use that pipe, pushed behind or pushed forward or just anywhere where they think there might be a little bit of a gap in the block, that's where to use it and beautifully done by Spain. Legal. Down the middle to Jasper. Another quick shot from Noloma who's creeping up in the point scoring. Fastball outside, love that from Zykema. She introduces the speed. She's got the middle and the blockers kind of creeping in, pulling with her. So that really fast set with enough width, that's what Nolema is able to work with. Double sub replaced. Black and Bonhert back in the mix for the Netherlands, who need only two points to get it done this set. Spins off the net. Great dig in the backcourt, resync. Aggressive swing again from, no, from Nolema, that's picked up. Netherlands going again, outside tip and not able to keep it in play. So Spain's gonna send in the veteran, Patricia Aranda, Aranda, excuse me. The 44-year-old setter. He actually has Spanish and Peruvian nationality. Goes for a short float to the libero. Plaque into hands and out of bounds. Plaque finding a way to score despite a big block in front of her. Like the players read that really well. Have a look at Spain. There are four arms in front of Flack. They knew where that ball was going, but still 
she's able to put such an angle and a bit of heat on it that it goes way back out of bounds offhand. It's now set point. Nolima at the line. Tight ball, beautifully saved. Lazaro to Varela. That is absolute money. That ball's going over. You can see the middle of Netherlands jumping, but instead, Lazaro is able to keep it in play with just a flick of the wrist. And Varela in place. Still set point. Ball handled, but off the net. Netherlands into hands. Recycled again for Spain. Fast swing behind, doesn't land. Into the block again. Spain going for it, and they do. They're being really patient. We heard the coach asking for that in a couple timeouts ago. So you don't have to add so much speed. You can be patient and go again and again, and that's really one of those lessons of volleyball that you often learn the hard way. Players trying to swing down into the block, but go soft. Your libero's behind you to recycle. And another set point saved. Spain hanging on by a thread, but they are still in it. As an uncharacteristic error out of Daldorov sends that ball wide. They were having a lot of success there at the Netherlands, finding that sharp cross swing early on in this set, but timeout called. So now we start again to become up, high and slow. So we keep that in rhythm, we're getting fast. We have chance for middle blocker. Uh, so we have to play in our rhythm, okay? Not getting slower than that. Okay, come on. Good advice there from Coach Felix. Keep that speed introduced in the game. That's Something that you'll see lost as the game gets tighter and tighter, but he wants to see out of Brett. Keep that speed going to her pins. There's the rhythm. Oh, but the block is not letting down. Stain save another set point. And they have brought themselves to within one. And I do wonder if that ball might have been going out. You see Libero, Florian, releasing, diving to keep it in play. She might have thought it was going to land, so better to play it than not. 23-24, one more set point chance for the Netherlands. That'll do it. Heartbreaking if you're Spain, having worked so hard to put yourself back in a position to fight for the set. Zavromatis, who gives the freebie back to the Netherlands who get let off the hook here at the end of the first set. 25-23, what a way to take it after leading at least five, six points throughout the match. End up that close is unexpected but it's testament to Spain that they are not here to mess around. Have a look at the attacks. 15 each, six blocks to three. No, neither team getting an ace. Pretty low in the air count as well. So for me, the Netherlands, they were starting really strong in their block. They were making it so tough for Spain to score. But once Spain started to find ways, and again, they were introducing that patience. So if they didn't have their right opportunity to swing, they were just rolling into the block. And Libero was sitting behind, picking it up, and they were just going again. That's what's the difference for me between the first half of the set and the second half. Not really so much what the Netherlands was doing different. They maybe had a couple more errors in the attack. But Spain really, really switched, switched that on. Well, no matter te what team you're rooting for, you love to see high-level volleyball in 25-23. It does not get any closer than that. Both
Well, an impressive start for the Netherlands, but Spain kicking and fighting the entire way, making it really difficult for the Netherlands, who looked like they had that set in the bag. They had to scrap for it at the end, though. They did pull it out. Get that one set in their pocket, but I think they will have learned the lesson not to underestimate Spain as they go further throughout this match. Seen some impressive work out of a few players on each side. Yabres, the libero of Spain, hugely impressive with her pickups. Defensive efforts, just keeping the ball in play over and over. The center there on your screen, Lazaro getting really creative. Nolama for the Netherlands. A lot of those outside swings landing. Set number two, underway. Garcia with the first serve. Swing through the middle. I like that from Bonhex, trying to establish the middle early. Waited a little bit long to do it in set number one. It doesn't pay off here. Timmerman not able to find the end line. Garcia again gets Netherlands off their rhythm this time. High ball coming from Spain. Pipe goes to Plaque. Bump set to the outside. Off the hands. Good pick up. Heavy swing into the block. Covered again. Free ball. Chance for Plaque behind. Looking for a tip and she'll get it. Smart play. Getting the middle blocker, Carlota Garcia, on the ground. And Plaque's one of those players we told you to keep an eye out for. And I like that thought process there. She's been swinging away and finally puts a little tick on. Pickle, pickle on it. She's played in Italy, Turkey, Japan, headed over to Rome next season in Italy. High ball coming from Spain. Big swing to the outside, but that's done. Another ball. And the roundhouse. Lego with the half moon. And again, we talked about Spain being pretty creative with their back row zones. So Schlegel's pushing herself all the way to the outside of the court. And the blocker is not really ready for it. Another quick ball through the middle and another tip. So it looks like Netherlands has kind of changed up their strategy over the last couple of points. They're seeing what's working. Tips were working on them, so now they're sending them back in the other direction, saying, have a piece of this. Taste of your own medicine, so to speak. Highball to hands. Spain again. A little quicker this time. Still coming back over and easily used to the pipe again. And again, Spain using some speed and that whip of an arm. Watch the blockers as they take one step, try and close it up, but Schlegel sees the gap in the block, uses it early, swings early. I think I saw the libero having a little chat with the middle there, saying, let me take that overpass, I'm right there. There's another overpass this time. Schlegel gets it straight off the net. Credit that set to the Netherlands and say thank you for that one. Looks good. Nothing better than an overpass that goes straight back down on the other court. Feels good. Tough serve. Ooh, great pickup. Here comes the back court. Setters out for the Netherlands. Ball behind to Daldorop, who goes through the block. Daldorop using her experience over the height that time. And she won the Club World Champs silver medal with Rakit Bank last season. Black. Down the line. Oh, great block. Are you kidding me, Lazaro? What a reaction. 
The strong serve from Plack gets the overpass. Zimmerman thinking, I'll have a little piece of this. That's what I was saying. No, you won't. I'm here. Aggressive serving. Paying off so far for Spain. They've been picking things up since set number one, where things were looking a little easy. Netherlands were always in system. So now we're seeing a little heavier serving. More risk comes with that. Black on the floor. Ball has to go outside. Three blockers are following it. Elema thinking maybe there might have been a touch on that, but is it worth the challenge unless you're sure? Probably not. Not at this stage. And at the same time, though, there are two blockers up. Have a look at Schlegel. She's kind of crept in as well, thinking if they don't go through the block, there might be a tip. I'll be there ready for it. So the thought process on Spain's side. I like it. Looking for an ace. No, sir, not that time. Just wide. Well, if I'm not mistaken, the referees have, or at least they did during the, the VNL, they have the look at that replay of the ball in and out immediately after it happens. Oh, ball was in. Great challenge. Well, I like to see the coach making the right call there. Having some faith in his servers. Nazar goes for it again. Free ball comes back in response. Ball behind and a quick rip from Mavromatis. The 18-year-old opposite who's made her way onto court. She's only ever played professionally in Spain, but was the MVP of the Vepsa under 19 in 2023, where her team won gold. And now making her way up to the senior national team. You mentioned as well, Coach Pasquale Saudi, and he was previously the head coach of the under-19, under-18 squads for Spain. So he'll know a lot of these players as they come up through the ranks for him. Well, not challenging that one. Sounds well and truly out. Here come the Netherlands back to the line. Five serving eight. Good run of points there for Spain. Ball to the outside into the block who keeps it deep into the court where there's nobody ready to cover that. Spain doing the right thing. Bringing all their defensive players in ready to cover their hitter but nobody there on the back line. Unlucky if you're Spain. Beautiful block if you're Netherlands. Oh, house. Another overpass leading to a block. Timmerman paying attention. Ready and waiting in the change of direction. That's a beautiful finish from the middle blocker. We'll practice that a time or two. Spain and Schlegel's a little inside. Caught underneath that big Dutch block. It's always going to be advantage to the blockers when the ball gets tight like that. Inside and tight, not really anywhere to go except maybe that sharp cross or a tip. Wow, still at the line. Goes to the cross. All behind through the middle. That's dug by Netherlands. Outside, Nolema finding some space. Nolema played in Firenze, Italy last season, headed over to Stuttgart in Germany for the next. It's that high ball. That's a tougher swing than you might think because that ball's coming from all the way in the corner behind her. 
She's got to see the ball coming and the court and the blockers. It's just easier said than done, let's say. Setting from the knees. And again to the outside. Black, easy overhead dig. Pipe coming. Ball's called out from Daldorop. We'll see a challenge, I think. Lock touch is what we're looking for here. We'll have to see it again in extra slow motion to know if there might have been a little pinky moving or if it was just the breeze. Although this volleyball match is being played as per usual inside of a stadium, unlike a few days ago, the Arena di Verona, where Italy took on Romania in an outdoor venue, like a Coliseum style play. So that might have been the wind affecting some things there, but here, nothing but the air conditioning. Do we see a touch? What do you guys think? I don't see one. No, sir. So on we play. Coaching staff on the bench for the Netherlands saying, I think we saw a touch. It's impossible not to be biased when you're wearing the jersey. Big one from Plack, but a great defense out of Spain. Another chance behind, ooh, the back set. Nelma, she's dug, recycled. Out of system again for Spain. Bump set coming, Schlegel's on it, rolls it to Calderop in the backcourt. Sprawling defensive effort out of Spain. Good situation again, a long rally, potentially the longest rally of the match so far. As eventually Spain forced the error out of Noma and take a well-deserved and well-fought point. I think I see Felix making the symbol for touch. Are we going to have a challenge again? Yes, we are. Two in a row. If this does not go Netherlands' way, they'll be out of challenges. Well, there you go. The announcer saying it better than me, as per usual. Let's see if there's a touch. Oh, yeah. The confidence was high on that one. Coach was standing right next to it. Saw it with his own eyeballs. Brit Bonherz, who formerly played in Wuch, Poland. And we made a volleyball bubble episode together. If you haven't seen that, it shows all her life as a professional volleyball player. It's on YouTube. Go head out and head over there and check it out if you want to see the life of a pro. As she scoops it up for Plack, who gets the trickle over the top. A beautiful tip. A beautiful choice by Von Herz. Again, the tipping is really starting to work for the Netherlands. It was working against them early on in the set and now they've found a way to use it to their own advantage. Here comes Bonherz again, best server of the German League in 2018. Put some heat on it. And in response gets the error. That was a break point for Netherlands. So break point just for anyone who's new watching it, is when you serve and then you get that point. So it's almost like an earned extra point. Whereas a side out point is when you're receiving and you earn the point. More important to get those ones while you're serving. 
intentéis, que siempre parece que os van a bloquear. Siempre pensé que os van a bloquear. Que no, si te estás haciendo aquí, vete para allá. Eso es mejor, vete para allá. Dentro. Dale paso, eso va a ser una energía. Que te hagan la hostia, que te hagan la hostia. Que te hagan la hostia, que te hagan la hostia. I can imagine watching Eurovision in this stadium. The music kind of suits it as well. The DJ is really leaning into that. 12 to nine, the Netherlands caught themselves back up. It's been a real match of going back and forth. We're seeing some really good play on both sides. But it only matters who gets that 25th point at the end of the day. Fastball through the middle. Here comes Knolema using the line over her shoulder. Chance again for that high ball. This time goes angle and finds that zone that was working well. Prol sitting in the defense but can't handle the heat. Yep, there's a switch up. Jimenez, 21-year-old middle blocker, plays in Menorca. Doesn't get into the game on the first swing. Instead, the Netherlands have a chance to go again, and they're using the tip over and over and over again until Spain make a response, until they change their recent defensive lineup. We heard it from the coach of Netherlands early on saying there's that space, that honeypot. And interestingly there, I see Mavro Matis. She's not blocking. For me, if I'm the coach of Spain, I'm telling the off blocker, that is your ball all day, every day. If you don't jump, your hands are not over the net in a defensive action, you've got to be low and ready for that tip. It's way easier for the off blocker to take it than the defenders who are expecting the hard driven ball. Carolina Camino, 19 year old outside hitter into the game. And it is Camino to get the first action. Well, she's young, but don't count her out. Was the best outside hitter of the Spanish Cup in 2022. Her first point on the board. She's hanging in the air, too. So the timing is a little interesting there. She's hanging and on her way down. That's when she's ripping across her body. Good reaction through the middle. First, the overpass forced by the young player. Hang on a sec. I might have spoken too soon. That looked really good from where I was standing. I think it might have been just out. Oh no, it was in. I was wondering why the coach was making a face. Good speed behind Mavromatis. Popping up right behind the shoulder of the middle block. It's so tough for the Netherlands defense. Have a look. You see Timmerman just kind of stuck there with the number 12. Varela on the other side, so she's not able to get in time to the outside. Spain staying in it. Back to two. Good set by Bonherz to keep it out of the net. But Spain all over it in the block and they are not relenting again just like set number two a little double step hop on the outside but it's Varela who gets a big chunk of that she was champions league bronze medalist in 2023 and then the best blocker of the spanish league in 2022 timeout called it's getting close again Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Hey, the thing with the line stays. Uh, the, the only one that block on this team is number 12. Uh, so every time we go to attack, uh, we're going to avoid, we are good in this. So next time I'll be stay normal. We go normal, okay? So let's go. Uh, uh, I stay in four. Yeah, you stay in four. Okay. You'll be moving one. Nika ready, and it goes, she goes in five and two. So, hey, we can make this space more there, okay? Let's go! Let's go! Back on board, Netherlands, that's great. 
Well, shots fired. Felix saying the only one on Spain's team that's blocking is number 12. Please, just keep the ball away from her. She is the tallest one out there on court. But not to take away from the skill of the smaller players. It's all just about penetrating the net. It does not matter how tall you are. It makes it easier if you're taller. But you can still be a great blocker with less height. I've seen a few blocks from Spain already. But he's asking his team just to be a bit smarter with their attack. Off the hands. That is smarter. There's the roll back from Spain. On hatch to Plaque. And she does it on the outside spot. Not her comfortable zone, but does well to do exactly what Coach asked. Keep it away from number 12. Goes down the line over the smaller player. It's Mavro Matis in that case. Does a really good job to use that to her advantage. 15-13, Schlegel putting the ball in play. Here comes Bonherz to the pipe again, and the Netherlands bringing that back into their repertoire. Spain's been using it. We saw a couple early on of those pipe swings, but really not as much as Spain has been using. Good choice there by Bonherz and the changeup. Nolema's the go-to attacker right now, so Spain has to know wherever she is on the court. Keep an eyeball on her. 11 points already. Top serve to go with it. He keeps things in play. Through the middle, there's the tip, and again, doesn't get it on the first contact, but what she does do is get all sorts of trouble on Spain's side. Bodies on the floor, running off the courts. They haven't yet figured out how to stop this tip. And for me, there's only one player at the block, so there are essentially five players who should be ready to get the tip in some capacity. Problem is a miscommunication there, and then the blocker Leans back with her hand. It's all over. Great change up by Camino. He's been a good substitution for Spain. He hasn't played professionally outside of Spain as of yet, but I have a feeling if any coaches might be out there watching, she'll, she's going to be on their radar. The 19 year old, one of the up and coming superstars for Spain. Black. An established superstar on the Dutch side. She and her brother. Also, he plays on the national team for the men's side. From a family of volleyball. Great pickup. Here comes the pipe. Working well, but a good stabbing defense from Schlegel. Ball's coming back into play for Netherlands. Here's the pipe again. Slowed down tip. Good read by Yabris. And eventually it pays off. That's what Spain can do when they're able to get that tip. Get past the block. Making it so tough for the defense there. Camino goes down the middle, finding Nolma. Dials it up with the change up. Line shot over her shoulder. Those are really fun shots to watch as well. Look, it's coming from a bump set, and she barely even changes the direction of her body. Her shoulders are facing into the court. She's coming in tight. It's an inside set, so she then turns it over her body, but just using her shoulder doesn't over-rotate. Oh, quick one from the setter. Black to swing. Still in play. Heavy, aggressive arm from Mavro Matis. That's still up, though. Netherlands sending a freebie. Not in a good shape for Spain. So now Netherlands another chance. And the same shot, but just barely out of bounds. Well, Spain didn't really handle that free ball as well as they could have. So I feel they got a little bit lucky here off the hook. 
And there's a slight difference in that attack. Is you saw her shoulders turn with her arms. So last time, shoulders inside, arm to the line. That time, just a little over rotation. Off hands. Great defense in the back. Here comes Spain again. Schlegel trying to do something. That's a tough shot from off the net. Not the one that you want to risk it on. Maybe the ball that you just kind of roll over and get it back in play instead. Finds Bonhert underneath the net. Oh, what a block again for the Netherlands. See what coaches have to say. Loving all the camera angles we're getting here at the CV Eurovolo. We get to get <laughs> up close and personal with the players and the fans, apparently. Back in the action, 21-16. Spain needing to make some moves here if they're going to slow down the Netherlands and stop them from getting their second set. Do a good job to keep that. I like that runaround as well. Mavro Matis is coming from one side of the court, kind of sneaks in there on the right side. Substitution again, Jasper in for Daldrop. Just to stabilize a little bit of the reception. Good ball in, just one step off the net is Von Hatch, and she's able to use her middle, and that's exactly what you want to do. be able to use Low House in any situation. Low House has a CV Cup silver medal from 2022. Ball comes off the net. Still in play. Black underneath it. Good slow down by the block. Quick turnaround. Timmerman doing, doing enough, but not enough for Spain not to send back some heat. to the outside, going past the block, over the block even. So Schlegel's back up to serve. Best outside hitter of the Czech League in 2021. Cross court again to the middle. Timmerman not finding the angle there. She is one of the go-tos in that middle spot for the Netherlands was the best spiker, in fact, of Germany, the German League in 2022. But a couple of changes coming through that double sub. Dambrink and Dijkema in the setting spot. Dijkema, one of the veterans, the 33-year-old setter, played on that Olympic squad, also a two-time European champ silver medalist. 19, serving 22. That ball's enough. It's in a good spot. And Dykema is able to use her middle again. Good connection there. Timmerman, just a couple of steps. She's creating some space from the setter as well. Oh, 
Double step reversed immediately. Black and Bonhats back in. 23 to 19. Out to the outside. Ball staying in play. Good run down. Free ball situation. Handled. Pipe. Doug. Netherlands going for it again on the outside. And they get it. Nolema. The go-to for the Netherlands. Continues to perform. The ladies in orange. Got time finding the seam between the two blockers. Defense is set up in such a way to work around the block, but if there's a seam or a space in between, it's really tough because then every area of the court basically is open. Top serve, set point. High ball behind. Nova Matis goes for it. She's dug. Here comes Plack to finish it off, and she'll do it. Using a cheeky bit of line, a sharp bit of angle. All done by Plaque there on the right side. Turns it at the last minute. The blockers floating off the net. And Netherlands secure the bag for the second set. There you go, confirmation of the score. 2-0, 25-23, 25-19. And so remember Spain came creeping back into that first set as if they had a chance to get into it, take it at the last minute. And came out on top, and they looked way more comfortable in that second. Here's a look at the stats, 18 to 11 in attacks. Three to one blocks. Spain, the only team to get an ace there. But again, the errors relatively low. If anything, the Netherlands with two more errors. What they're doing is making up for it in the attack. I like Spain working with the recycle, but eventually too aggressive in the attack was the Netherlands. Question is, what can Spain change, do better, or do the same for this third set to keep themselves in the match? Okay. Felix Koslovski, uh, your team is leading 2-0, but I think we have seen that Spain can put up a fight if you don't stay concentrated and focused. Yeah, I mean, we, we lost a little bit of rhythm in the first set, so we opened the door and Spain is pushing good. They're playing an incredible way defense. They play with a lot of courage in attack and um, in serving. So we need to stay really attentive in this game. Um, if we go 5%, 10% down, uh, they are there, they are ready. And that is our challenge right now, that we are pushing ourselves all the time on the top. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Wow, cool to hear from Coach. Felix there, given respect to Spain as they have been fighting back. And here's a look at the serving. The Netherlands have one A so far. They've been pretty spread across the court, just working that outside hitting zone and towards the middle. Haven't really targeted the right side of the court just yet. Top speed of the serve, 92 kilometers. That's tough. Imagine having that coming at you. We are with the assistant coach of Spain. The start to the match was not that easy, but the team has shown that you can put up a fight. So we think the, the players are having a, a great game because we we are set very well. And after in, in block defense, we demand the, the Dutch players uh, that the, the your best level because it's difficult to play with with that team. But we we see we show a, a great a great game, a great match, but for for our guy, girls, and we need to, to push, we need to, to demand the, the, the best level of the, of the Dutch player and continue and could be come on up for the fourth set. We look forward to the next set and uh, we wish you all the best. Right, we continue the, the, the speed with the velocity with the, with the setters and we, we attack because for me I think the, the difference between, between Dutch and surprising in block and block touch and play with, in, with that velocity we, we can play against against the block. Thank you, good luck. This is the coach of Spain there.
Well, if you're just joining us, there is the score line so far. 2-0, 25, 23, and 25, 19. And as Coach Felix, Felix Koslowski mentioned, he wants to see his team keep their focus. Spain has proven now that they are an opponent that will come in and try to take that set from the Netherlands who, well, if they keep their level, they should be the team to win, team to beat. But again, anyone can play on any given day. That's the beauty of the sport. So nothing can be taken for granted. They'll know it. Spain have been pushing from their serve. They've been aggressive in areas of their attack. Netherlands, as soon as they take their eye off the ball, a lot of tips were falling. They're going to want to keep hold of that early on in this set. Seeing a lot of productivity out of a couple of players there from the Netherlands. One here that's using Nolema a lot, as well as Plak. They were our, a couple of our players that we had a look at earlier on in the opening of the match, and they have not disappointed. Just about ready to get going with set number three. Have a look if there are any changes on either team. Set number three, underway. Great bon hat with the first serve for the Netherlands and the first point goes the way of the players in orange. That's a good start, getting that overpass aggressive onto Schlegel. I have a feeling they'll keep targeting her as the match continues. As she is, has been the go-to player for Spain. But Carolina Camino, who made her way into the mix last set. Well, she's been impressive as well. The 19-year-old gets a fast set to the outside, works off the hands of Flack, and gets Spain on the board. Quick tip again. There it is from Spain. They continue using that to their advantage. And over and over, look at the frustration on the Spain's coach's face. He's seen that too many times now. Tips just falling in front of players and defenders, not expecting that shot that we've seen a few times now. Ball outside. Well picked up, quick set. And I think I heard Mika Daldrop asking schnell, schnell in German. That means fast. I'm not sure if I'm imagining that that's something you say in Dutch as well. But if so, she's asking for that really fast ball and she gets it. Good communication. Quick through the middle on Spain's side. Good response. Using Lucia Varela. Varela won the Spanish League in 2021. It'll be important going forward again as that middle blocking spot is established. Fast again. Daldorop loves that speed and it's paying off. She is one of the more experienced players out there, as we mentioned. Playing in Italy, in Turkey, in Germany. Headed to Vera Volimonza next season. Loves that fast rip of a set. She can beat the block that way. Ball to the outside. Nicely handled. Spain responding. And that's, again, an unforced error. We haven't seen a whole lot of them out of the Netherlands. But like Felix said, 
cannot lower your guard because Spain will do that. A serve from Camino, the impressive young player, new and fresh faced to the court. Fresh face, fresh leg, fresh arm speed as well. Targeting the libero. Florian Riesink of the Netherlands. Camino again, two aces in a row. What a performance so far. An ace serve from one side of the court to the other. Then she goes down the line. Gets two players, two birds with the same stone of an ace. Go for a third. Yes, she does. Are you kidding me? Carolina Camino has arrived to the international stage. Three ace serves on three different players. Now that's what you call an entrance. Goes for it again. Gets the Netherlands out of system, but they're able to keep it in play this time after those three aces. They got a response. And it comes from Galderop. High ball from all the way off the court. Bump set from the libero. Galderop using great vision there to get past the block. The big block of Varela in front of her. Plak down the line. In play to the pipe. Hits the tape, doesn't go past the tape though. So Netherlands take that point. Sometimes there'll be a tip there, or a touch I should say on the block. Nine times out of 10, those balls that go in the net, if it's just barely in the net, there's some kind of touch by the blockers, but not this case. Ball over pass, handled. There's the pipe, dug. Kept in play. Spain sending a freebie. Chance again. No house this time. Clever. I like that she steps in and takes that first ball overhead. Oh, and a serve. Black. Her team needed a response to Camino. And it comes in the form of Celeste Black. Barely any spin on the ball. Puts it sideways from corner to corner. One of the toughest serves to receive. And she go for a second one. Down the line this time to Schlegel. Gets the ball back. Swings high and deep, but just long. No touch called, so Netherlands back to their winning ways. That's a really tough far set as well. Throws a little inside from Lazaro. Here comes Black. Again to the cross, she's changing up every single time. Good reactions by the Netherlands. Eyeball coming over. To the middle behind. A great choice by Lazaro. Using Varela, who was the best middle of the Spanish Cup in 2021. Still only 20 years old, but the height, the speed, and that whip of an arm make her a lethal combination. Smart play from Bonham. Coach, you can't do anything but just watch the ball fall as the players move not even an inch. The bodies are on the floor, but not even close to picking that up. Tricky indeed. Half swing out of Spain. Ball's back in play. Great rundown by Bonhertz. 
Free ball into system, into the block, but nowhere to go. The Netherlands comes running back with full speed. Impressive, Bonhats was off the court to keep that ball in play, comes back in in time and space to block. Aggressive from the end line. Schlegel handles it nicely. Big pickup from Resink. Ball still in action. To the outside. Nolema continues to do the damage. Good speed, good rhythm there introduced by Bonhertz as well. That's something that Coach Felix was talking about. Making sure that that rhythm, the speed, finds a way to those high balls outside. There's a look at the last few points. It's pretty much been the Netherlands non-stop for the last few points, unanswered by Spain since that run of serves from Camino. Three aces in a row. The Netherlands has brought back their game, 12 to seven. Lucky break. Get Spain back in the right direction. Eight to 12, a four point deficit as Lazaro heads back to serve. Top serve gets the Netherlands out of system. Great dig from Yabrez. A diving save as well from Resync. Libero for Libero, loving the action, and it pays dividends to the Netherlands. Ramat has got a good hand on that. And she finds that overpass, the freebie, basically, and she's got one on one. Those are the moments that have to be capitalized on if you're Spain. If you've got the libero diving off the court, free ball coming your side, you have to make that count. Especially when you're down a few points in the third. Ooh, good pick up. On the outside, Knolema is dug. It's a pipe. Coming in, there's the tip. Good read by Low House. Oh, and the freebie. That will land. Some cheeky smiling on Netherlands' side, not expecting that a freebie would just land in the corner. Have a look at that. Diving to keep things alive, and Clock just pushes with the vision. She sees it. There's nobody there. She'll take it. 14-8. Just long, Netherlands again. Things starting to unravel on Spain's side. They're working so hard to keep themselves in the game. But a couple of errors here and there. Again, it's Mavra Matis going just wide. He'll take a seat on the bench. In comes number 11, Julia de Paula. 18-year-old opposite, so a lot of young, fresh blood on this Spanish side. She was still the best opposite of the Spanish Cup in 2023. We'll see if she can make a difference here in the third. That'll help. Schlegel. Finds the front outside hitter for the Netherlands. Doesn't matter though. It's the middle who gets the dub. Aline Timmerman, who played in Aachen and recently in Stuttgart, was the best middle in Germany in 2021 with swings just like that.
One hand. Goes cross, finds Schlegel again. She's been targeted over and over. But I like that from Spain. Good response. Using the fresh blood on court to Paula. She's actually headed over to play in Szechow, Poland next season. She's only ever played in Spain, but the talent has been recognized. She had, she can swing into the block and out of bounds in a difficult situation like that. Quick tip over, setters out, high ball behind. Into the hands and a good response. Camino, not just a serving machine, but also tricky at the net as well. She's tight as well. You know she's not in the great position there to score, but she does what we've seen a couple of times, that over-the-shoulder rolling swing. Taking advantage of the block. Timeout called. So, ladies, for the block, for the block, for the block, okay? It's good that we work inside, yeah? We have the many really blockers to close. But we have to get first in front. So we make clear, line is closed, and from this point we're moving inside. Uh, was this ball with the opposite? Was the same with this one? Was with the slide before? Uh, we always touch inside, then we're moving, and then they touch us here. So one more step outside, and then we move inside with this ball. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Felix recognizing that there, Spain's starting to use the Netherlands block a little bit. So he's saying, let's be trickier. Let's show one thing and take something else. Take a little bit more outside. Of course, step inside and then step outside. But don't just show them exactly what you're going to do. Clack with a cross court, heavy arm. Less Clack. MVP of the Italian Cup in 2016. Heavy arm, she's going cross, she's only got one in front of her, that's the way to rip on a ball. On the dribbler, pays off, an ace serve. There seems like there's not much Knoloma cannot do at this moment. Everything she's touching, just turning to gold. Dribbles off the tape, and that is a nightmare for setters and middle blockers alike. So Noma gets a rest for her duties. Mad at Jasper. Part of that Eurochamp silver medal in 2017. That's a tough serve off. But the response from Spain is adamant. We are still here to play. Nothing is set in stone just yet. Camino putting some speed on the ball. And Lazaro finding a way to get her hitters involved. Up serve down to the sink. She handles that nicely. Quick to the outside. Dialed it off putting her team one step closer to the finish line. With that speed, that rhythm, that the coach of the Netherlands continues to ask out of his team. There's another swing from behind. Chance again. That one's dug. Netherlands staying in play with a free ball from Plack. Right on the head of the setter. Middle is involved. Yes, Spain being patient. Forcing the Netherlands to play point by point and waiting for the moment they get that free ball back. Then Nazaro can use her middle. It's high, it's wide. Varela can go basically just over the top of the block there. We know. She's been dangerous from the service line. Jasper handles it perfectly. But still the middle is involved. Barella with a quick rip behind. One time goes line, next time goes cross. Netherlands starting to feel the heat again. Camino still at the line. 
Gets the middle. Attacking from the libero, overpassing. And that is exactly what you want to see if you're Spain. Points falling in the right direction for them. That's a tough, tough serve. We've seen her put some heat on the serve. And now we're seeing her drop it right in front of the players. Look how short they are now in the court as she goes for the end line that time. Switching it up from short to deep. Misses by just, just a hair. We might have a challenge coming, but no, that is, for my eyeballs anyway, out of bounds. Worth a challenge though. Nope, no challenge. Spoke too soon. Netherlands, 2015. Good step in from Yabres. Reaction, Spain staying in the play. Outside from Dambrink. Another rally. Stays in play. Ball outside. Cross court is a big swing. Look at Alderop again. She's been one of the go-tos all match long. And that speedy ball. So the middle blocker is holding the middle there as well. And that's credit to the center, giving a lot of speed there. Now, Everything on the line, but have a look. Those last three points there taken by Spain. The Netherlands responding with the most recent two points, and now they only need four to get to the end line. Pressure's on for Spain. That'll help step in the right direction. Spain. Going down to the wire right now. They need a couple of points in a row. High ball outside for the Netherlands. Cross court's dug. Spain coming from the back court and the pipe. Again landing. They've been creative with that pipe shot all match long. And now it's Takaula getting involved. Slicing it past the block to the floor that change up down the line. So Spain are still in it. They still have a chance. 17 to 21, top serve again and an ace serve. Spain have not relinquished. Yeah, Varela this time from the end line, straight down the middle onto Jasper with enough heat. Goes for another ace. Will she get two in a row? Not this time. Another tip lands on Spain's side. Daikuma saving the day there with a really tough ball in. All she could do was get a hand underneath it. A ball basically on the net. She keeps her body out of it though, feeds up her middle, and that'll be enough for the veteran Olympian. And an ace serve. No, not an ace. Or maybe. Maybe. We'll see a challenge. I want to see that again in slow motion. Ooh, it's potentially close enough for a challenge if I'm the coach. But does he save that challenge for a rainy day? We will see. Dang, Jimenez back in the mix for the block. Netherlands in some trouble again. They block and recycle. Ball back behind again to Dambrink. 20-year-old opposite. He picks that ball up too outside. And eventually Netherlands force the error out of Spain. 
So they creep themselves closer and closer. We're looking for a block touch now. Spain sees the momentum slipping away. So the question is, do they really think there's a block touch? Or do they just want to slow down the momentum? Either way, we'll get a chance to have a look. Ooh, yes, sir. Block touch. Great challenge. And a well-timed one at that. <laughs> the announcer in the stadium. He's cracking me up. Netherlands has work still to do. 20 to 22. Lazaro puts some pressure on Netherlands from the serve and even more from the block. Schlegel with a monster block to slow things down. With a little too much confidence there underneath the ball, swinging directly into it. And he's now last bringing in three fresh players. Oh, let's have a look then. Three changes. Double sub reversed and Nolama, I think, back in as well. If I heard the announcer correctly. There you go, there's that starting lineup back in. They don't want to mess around, they want to finish this in three sets, bringing in the big guns. There is one point back in the right direction. I like that. One on one behind a great pass push excuse me, from Bonhead. And just a little snap over the top. Wow. To the serve. To the outside and a stop block. Let Spain know the Netherlands are not ready to go another set. Bonhert with a huge dominating press over the net, taking away all the daylight. Felix is exuberant. Set point, match point. Good serve, start to get Spain off the net. Again to the middle. Is it done? Yes, it is. Aline Timmerman is the last touch on the ball, and it's a tip. They were falling all match long on Spain's side, and they could not find a response. Eventually, Netherlands finish it in three sets. Well fought by Spain. But eventually, it was too much against this team. Here's a look at that last point, how it happened. Zimmerman finding herself a one-on-one. -on -one. Jimenez was off the block trying to take the tip. But eventually, well, that's how it was done. So the Netherlands open up their European volleyball tournament the Euro Volley 2023 with a win a 3-0 win at that so hopefully we'll have a chance to speak to one of these players shortly after they've had enough time to take their selfie of the victory the selfie de la victoria as they call it in Italy I'm not sure what they would call it in the Netherlands but it's an important one for the social media postings that will be happening over the next couple of hours Credit to Spain. What a fight they put up. It wasn't meant to be, but they did not make it easy for the Netherlands. Even the coach took out his starting squad halfway through that third set, thought it was done and dusted. Spain had other ideas. There you go. Look at the scores again. 25-23, 25-19, and 25-21. Great fight by the Netherlands. Great response by Spain. A couple of stats then, shall we? 49 attacks to 35. Tells me that Netherlands were just in a better position more often. 11 blocks. They made it so tough for Spain to get past. Five aces there. Three of them on Spain's side coming from newbie Carolina Camino. So they could be proud and hang their hat on that. And 
Well, I think I see a player heading over to the interview spot. Celeste Flack, I believe. Celeste Flack, player of the Netherlands. This is a good way to start the European Championship at 3-0, but it was not that easy as the 3-0 may suggest. Uh, that's true. Uh, Spain is a team that plays with a lot of passion, and energy and courage. And it was very important uh, to play, like, to really play our, our best game because they are a dangerous team. But I'm really happy that in the end we were able to control them. This Dutch team has changed quite a lot compared to the last edition of the European Championships. It's now a combination of more experienced players and younger ones. How do you feel about this? Um, well, if you really look like literally at the roster, not so much has changed. Maybe a few names, but I think what's cha what changed is the, the way how we are using people and the way how... Uh, how we are playing as a team now. And I think that's really good. And um, we play with a lot of energy and fresh energy. And maybe that's why you think we're playing with uh, much younger people, but we're just having energy, we're being refreshed. And I think that shows on the court that we're all happy and we're enjoying to be on the court. Yeah. That's good to hear. Good luck for the, uh, for the next so matches. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome to hear from Celeste Plack. And of course, she is one of those veterans she and Daikema both in that 2016 Rio Olympic squad. And again, a few changes since then, but good to hear that the team is enjoying what they're doing now. And they've got a win on the board to prove it. That moves them up to second position in the pool play. There is so much more volleyball happening and coming your way over the coming weeks. So make sure you're going to tune in for all the Euro Volley action. teams will be back in action later in the week tomorrow with a really quick turnaround Netherlands facing Slovakia who won 3-0 against Finland earlier today and Spain will face France the newly promoted VNL team for 2024 who beat Estonia 3-0 in their opening match yesterday so be sure to tune into all your favorite European teams battling it